This is very much out of my comfort zone. Are you kidding me? Adding these individually. I just have no idea what I'm doing. Very excessive. It's gonna be such a mess. Starting to feel really hopeless. Doing it individually was stupid. This year, inspired by Pinterest, I really wanted to do a Christmas tree with an excessive amount of draped tinsel. This is very much out of my comfort zone, so I'm going to have to figure this out myself. I used to come across pictures of this type of tinsel and just think it was so tacky. In recent years, I've seen so many trees look so stylized that I'm sort of fed up with that and bored with it. So the more that this tinsel pops up on my Pinterest, the more it seems to be something that's so different and fresh to me and so for that reason I'm really into it and I want to give it a try. There are a few different names for this type of tinsel which makes it quite hard to find on the internet. It is classic tinsel as opposed to a tinsel garland. It's also called draped tinsel. In America they seem to call it icicles and it also seems to be called lametta. I chose silver. I have a feeling that I might need to buy more tinsel. I looked around a bit. I went to a few stores. There's not many options I think because it's so out of fashion. So there's plenty of options for tinsel garlands but there's not this classic tinsel. I found this one on Amazon that is called angel hair tinsel. So I think that it's particularly thin. So that's the one that I've gone for here. It seems that there are two ways that you can add this tinsel to the tree. You can add it in sections or you can add in individual strands. When I first saw that, I thought, are you kidding me? Adding these individually. But then as I thought about it, I thought, let's do it. Let's do it the proper way. I want to see the full effect. So I'm going to do it individually. I saw one video, I don't know what it was based on, that said that you should put six strands per branch. I'm certain I will want more than that because I want this to look really over the top and just dripping in tinsel and just really excessive. But I'm going to start with that. So I'm going to start with six per branch and then I'm gradually going to go back around and add more and more and more. Now cleanup is something that I was concerned with because as I I realized that you have to put them on individually. Do you have to take them off individually? It's gonna be such a mess. And I saw a video on YouTube of someone who literally just went over their tree with a dust buster. So I'll see how that goes when it's time to pack it up. I think I'm going to start at the top of the tree and work my way down. One thing that I think makes my tree quite well suited for this is that it's a little bit shaggy looking. It doesn't look like a perfect trimmed tree. It has a few branches branches that are a bit wispy and sticking out on the sides. And I think that that's going to really work well with having tinsel draping down and allowing it to fall down straight. If it was trimmed, the tinsel might not be able to drop down straight. It might only be able to drape across the tree. And I tend to really like the look of the ones where they hang straight. So that's what I'm trying to replicate. And I'm gonna start from the top down and see how far we go. I have bought four packets of this tinsel. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to need to buy some more. This is one packet and I have four. So I have put the tree out and I have got lights on it. Normally at this point, I would start to add my ornaments, but this year, because I'm doing something different, I'm just learning how to use this tinsel. I've never used it before. So I'm just gonna do it on this bare tree and then I'm going to add the ornaments after. Next year, if I wanna do the tinsel again, I hope that I'll understand it enough that I'll know how to do the ornaments first because I think it makes more sense to put the tinsel on after, but I just have no idea what I'm doing and I like to really understand. I don't wanna get tangled with the ornaments. And also, I don't even know what ornaments I really wanna use yet. I have a lot. I probably won't put as many ornaments on the tree as I normally do. But because I'm doing this very over the top, tacky type of thing, although I think it's kind of not tacky anymore, but whatever, I think that I will probably make different choices with my ornaments this year, but I do want the focus to be the tinsel. Yeah, I think this year it's gonna be really interesting having a mirror behind the tree. This tree is in exactly the same spot that it was in last year. Just this spot has changed a huge amount. So it's quite crazy to compare what it looked like last year versus this year. Now I'm going to basically just start putting on this tinsel.
update done one and a half sheets of tinsel so far on the tree and it's difficult to see it's definitely got a look about it but i'm starting to feel really hopeless the more i look at it the more i think that my tree is too bushy there's not as much space for the draping to go the full way that i'd like it to go i have tried <laughs> so many ways, individually laid each one onto some tape. I've also thought about getting hair clips because it is angel hair and I thought that could work. I'm giving up on that right now. I think I've literally done this back to front. In a lot of places, you can only have sort of half of this. This is quite long. So what I'm starting to do now, I'm taking this piece and then draping it over the tree like this. The little parts of the pine leaves on the tree almost act like a brush. And so they don't stay this close together. That's sort of what I want each one to look like. Something like that. I've already purchased on Amazon six more packets of these. I hope that's enough. So it's the next day, wearing the same clothes. If you were hoping that I would have ironed my shirt, I'm sorry to disappoint you, it will not be ironed. All of the tinsel that I had is on the tree and it's nowhere near enough. I've bought this locally because I'm impatient. And this is the original one that I saw that I didn't think was good enough. It's a bit crinkly. Here's a piece of the other one and here's this. You can see that this one seems to be just a bit straighter, slightly longer. So I'm just gonna try this one. It was a lot cheaper, but it just doesn't, I don't know if it's gonna be as good, but it'll be good if it does work. I'm still waiting for more to arrive from Amazon. It'll arrive today, but I can start off with this maybe to bulk it out. And this is definitely the best way to do it. I chop it into the slices about this big. Doing it individually was stupid. Obviously it's time consuming, but you can't get a whole ribbon of them all together draping in the same way. On the, on the pine needles, it separates and they start to go in different directions. And so you need to have them all draping in the same way. It helps massively when you want to make corrections because you will. I would say probably at this point, there is no more than four of these, maybe five on any given branch. Maybe there's more, but some of them only have one or two because I ran out. So I'm going to add some now and see what happens. But definitely this is the best strategy. I tried individual. I tried creating my own little sections of them with tape, draping halfway across and then snipping. This is the best way. And the other key important thing, okay, so I've got this to demonstrate, really hard to demonstrate on the tree. So originally I was going like this and then I would snip, it doesn't work. And also that's gonna be a messier cleanup. The way to do it is to start at the end and drag it like this. And then as it drags through, it actually is secured. And then that's how it hangs. That's one, I will then come back in with another one, depending on the angle, and maybe come on this side and brush it through like this. And you can keep pulling it then to the height that you want. So you might wanna shorten it a little bit. And then it's easy to pull out as well. And then reposition if you decide that you actually want it somewhere else. So that is the way to do it 100% and you just keep adding the layers. I've actually considered starting again. I'm not going to. So this is the strategy, small pieces cut. The other really important thing is that you do it with sharp scissors. I had some fairly regular blunt scissors at first and I was hacking through it and it was making it get tangled and it, that's not what you need. You need the sharpest scissors you can get and it makes the whole thing so much easier. You can come in and add more or move it or correct it as need be, but it's 100% the way you need to go. The other thing I learned is that you actually want to start at the bottom because once you have it in place and it's draping down, you don't want to stick your hands in there to reach some other thing for the next level below. So you're better off starting at the bottom. I would say it's worth questioning if you even want to have them at the bottom because of access to gifts underneath. I don't know what the best strategy there is. If I did this again next year, I don't know if I will. I would start on this. I would get this one looking exactly how I like it and then move up to the next layer. I was dreading the top because I can't reach up there, but it's not too hard because there's not a lot of foliage and it's, there's actually a lot of opportunity for it to drape well. So that works well. I've just added one pack of the new tinsel and it didn't take long at all with my new technique. It's so much better. It's just absolutely the way to do it. You can't really tell the difference. Probably up close you can, but overall for a job like this, this 
is fine. Now I'm just gonna go and trim all of these and just load up the tree. The tree now has double the amount of tinsel it had in it before. There are now four of these packets also added. I have six more of these and I have six more of the original type arriving. So we now have 10 packets plus the four original in the tree. Most of the stuff I've just added is really in the back. I think that the cheaper stuff is fine. The cheaper one is just a little bit more fiddly to deal with, can get tangled a bit easier and doesn't just hang in that way. So it's just a little bit more work, but I think overall either one is fine. My Amazon package has arrived, six more sheets. I've cut them up, I'm gonna add them now. Okay, so I have restrained myself from continuing. Altogether, this has 20 packets of Lametta tinsel on it. And honestly, if I was let loose, I would probably add even more onto it. But I think I'm too close to the project and I need to step away. And look, it looks so much better in real life. They look funny on camera. It's, it's a lot more striking and beautiful in real life. I have been considering putting big ornaments deep inside of this. But I think for now, I just need to step away. Maybe I'll think about it over the next couple of days. If I feel like I'm ready for it, maybe try it. Or maybe I'll just leave it as this, like there's enough going on. To me, it looks unfinished, but I think that I'm just way too close to the project. And like everyone that I've texted this to has said that it's over the top. So I just need to like, I think I've got Christmas tree dysphoria. I'm too close to the project, I need to stop.